by what we do in response to problems when they touch us. We do not leave people alone in their misery, but rally around to help whatever their color or creed or situation. As we enter our solemn observance of Holy Week and then the joyous celebration of Easter, these words from St. Matthew's Gospel offer us one of many reminders that God is always faithful to his promises. Do not be afraid. I know that you are seeking Jesus the crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised just as he said. As we read through the scriptures, the one constant occurrence is that God is true to his word. We see that fulfillment first with the nation of Israel. Despite their lack of faith and constant complaining, Israel continually witnessed God's fidelity. In the New Testament, Jesus predicted his death and resurrection many times in the Gospels, but most of his followers did not believe him. His were often met with skepticism and a lack of understanding. This was evident from the fact that many fled and abandoned Jesus when all seemed lost. Only when his followers experienced Jesus raised from the dead did they truly understand and believe. Life for us is just as challenging as it was for the first followers of Jesus. Despite the powerful words of faith that we read in the scripture and proclaim whenever we gather for the celebration of the Eucharist, at times the reality of life can consume us with grief and loss, setbacks, cares, and fear. As a diocese, we have been confronted with change and the pain that comes from the loss of loved ones. Like all people, we personally face disappointments in life and grief when loved ones are separated from us in death. Yet in all these seasons of life, we are all called to move forward in hope. Through the power of the risen Christ, who lives in us through baptism, we are provided with the source of strength that we need to remain faithful. One of the greatest signs of the risen Christ alive in our midst is the presence of catechumens who have responded to the Lord's call and opened their hearts to the life-giving waters of baptism. Indeed, they provide us with hope as we renew during the Easter season the vows made on our own behalf at baptism and seek to embrace the life and the promises of Jesus. In the days following his election as Pope in 1978, Pope John Paul II of Blessed Memory shared these words from sacred scripture, which for me are a lasting reminder to us of the message of Easter. Be not afraid. May these words of Blessed John Paul II, the same words spoken by the angel to the followers of Jesus, who peered into an empty tomb on the day of resurrection, give us hope. Jesus is risen and we, God's people, pass with him from death to life joy and peace. With prayerful wishes to all of you, to our bishop for his safe return, to our head of state and his dear cabinet for leading this dear nation in peace, love and care, I pray that the peace of the risen Christ remain with each of you and your families this Easter. 
I am your Vicar General, Father Emil Sambu. We say very many thanks to Reverend Father Emil Sambu, who is the Vicar General of the Diocese. Karudundagi also went to town to hear what people have to say about Easter. Take a listen. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, just to introduce myself to the viewers, I am Eustace Cassell, the program manager currently at uh, CADO, the Catholic Development Office of the Catholic uh, Mission, Catholic Diocese in the Gambia. Um, Indeed, it's a day of celebration, it's a day of joy for all of us Catholics. Uh, today is the Feast of Easter. We are celebrating the resurrection, the rising of our Lord and Savior from death. For the past uh, month or 50 days, we have been through the Lenten season, a period of renewal, fasting, and uh, taking care of our spiritual lives to renew our, uh, our relationship with God, and uh, going further, this culminates or culminated today in the resurrection of the Lord and uh, we are all happy that uh, today is Easter and celebrating with our families. The season was uh, one, one, as I said, of renewal, of um, practicing our faith more, um, going to church more often, um, uh, fasting and doing acts of penance uh, to help others and also um, ensuring that we understand our faith more and more through reading, <coughs> through um, upgrading of ourselves with uh, the church's uh, documents and information and message and teachings about our life as uh, Catholics and as our life as Christians. So most of the time, all of the time, it was a time spent in holiness, um, prayer and uh, fasting. Well, I also would, I would want to wish my family, first of all, a uh, happy Easter, a happy celebration, and uh, happy in the sense that we are confident that our lives will be uh, changed because Jesus Christ rose for us, and our lives will change for the better. We have hope. We have hope in Jesus. We have hope in the risen Lord. I want to wish my family a happy Easter, a happy celebration, and that we all go to church and enjoy the services and the Mass and uh, participate in the celebrations. The Feast of Easter is important to me as well as all Catholics and Christians alike because we are commemorating the Feast of uh, the Resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And without that, if Christ had not died and risen from the dead, then our faith is meaningless because if we, we believe that as long as Christ rose from the dead, we as Christians who believe in that resurrection, we also rise from the dead and be reunited with our, those who are born before us and even have the opportunity to see Christ face to face in the kingdom of heaven. That's how I believe as Christians. Very challenging, not only for me, but I expect that most of us uh, Christians, it has been a very challenging time because we are asked to um, fast to abstain from certain things and uh, give alms and then spend more time in prayer and that is very important because most times in our world today we spend a lot of time with other things that don't benefit us spiritually so if this time is set aside by the church for us to pray more to deepen our faith more I think it's very important that's a challenge to Christians in general I think I just um, pray that we will have a peaceful one all other preparations like material wise giving the house a face lift and so forth they are important yes but we should concentrate more on prepare, preparing ourselves spiritually so that when we celebrate, we know we are celebrating a meaningful Easter. We can cook, we can buy new clothes, we can clean the house, but the most important thing that we should be concerned about as Christians is the spiritual issue. Well, just like I said, my message will be, as Christians, 